Alright ladies and gentlemen, how are we doing today? It's your boy Uncaring Rain. First of all, let's address the elephant in the room. The bullet holes in my box. I don't know where these came from. Slightly concerning that. Um, spin the box around. They didn't come through on the other side, so guess the bullets have just sunk into the product in the middle. Brilliant. Great start. Um, I've got I've got an order from the Pokemon Center today. And I thought, you know what, why not? Let's open it for a video. There's some really cool stuff in there if you've seen the title. But one of the things I did order, which I'm not sure we're going to open today. But it's this Scarlet and Violet build and battle uh, kind of deck box. They usually get given out for pre-release uh, card events and, and, and kind of battle, battle events. Nowhere near me was doing one. So I, I missed out on that. But, you know, I thought, why not pick one up? I need the promos inside. You know, it'd be a cool deck box to have. Now... The main thing we're looking for is the delivery note. No, it's um, it's it's the next thing in this box, and I'm gonna open them in just a minute. But it's the the promo cards from the illustration contest held last year. I got given a code for them way back in about, I believe March. Um, I was lucky enough to get picked for for one of the people to receive them, and completely forgot to redeem the code. Kept rolling over until eventually I was just like, right, let's use the code up before it expires. And I've got those right there. We're going to open that in just a sec, but to open up as well in this video, I've also bought an Annihilate EX box. I haven't got that promo yet, and there's some really cool packs in there, so I thought, why not open that? We'll slide that in the back to begin with, and then we'll take a little look at these promo cards. So I've just taken the packaging off of the box and the promo cards to my right here. We're going to take a little look at the first one, then we're going to open a couple packs. Now, I was really excited to receive these cards because they are really really nice artworks the the promotion is usually in japan i believe so this was the first time i've actually known of it to come out in english or since since i've been aware of it but i mean that the artwork's brilliant it comes with this little little illustration contest stamp at the bottom which is nice i'm going to sleeve that up in just a sec let's get into this uh annihilate the xbox so i've been trying my best to get as many of the uh the promo cards from scarlet and violet as i can and uh, I mean, I, I've really enjoyed it being back to, to EX cards again. That's been nice. I hate the packaging they put on some of these promos. God, that is fiddly, right? So here is the United EX box. And yeah, nice card. I'm still not a big fan of all the stars they put across the EX cards. But, you know, it's nice enough. Um, the, the artwork's brilliant. I, I, I really miss... Um, the kind of EX days when it was GX and V. Um, I always loved how they kind of popped out the border. So really nice card. The other cards you do get are just reprints, but they're given like a kind of almost promo card foil around the edge with the, the kind of spots and bubbles. Uh, they're nice to have. I usually just pop them in the binder with the other cards. Uh, right. Let's take a little look at the packs. So we have one Lost Origin. We have two Powder Evolved and a Scarlet and Violet. I'm going to open the Lost Origin first because I kind of want to move on from, from Sword and Shield. And I mean, my favorite set from Short Sword and Shield was probably Silver Tempest. Um, I really enjoyed that set. It was absolutely brilliant. Um, had a lot of my favorite Pokemon in it. Uh, what's the... It's free to the front. Energy. Sweet. So, yeah, Silver Tempest I absolutely loved. But we have Lake... Acuity? Acuity? I'm not actually sure how to pronounce that. In British English, this is said as Acuity. A Q A T. Carbink. We've got Nuzleaf running from a predator or something like that. We've got Murkrow chilling the tree. We've got Wormpool, Clefairy, Lickitung. I have pulled way too many of this card. I, bet I never want to see that artwork again. Like, j j never again, please. We've got Horsey. We got Love Disc, and the last card is a Magina. Okay, that's a pretty cool card. Magina is, I feel like a very forgotten about Pokemon because of its release, but a very nice card all the same. Now, I'm going to have a little look at the next promo card we have, and it is Arcanine. Once again, absolutely gorgeous artwork. You can see a little Fletchling just sitting on its back there. I mean... What what I like so much about these is 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 they feel very um, yeah I don't know they they they, they feel quite original um, 
sometimes Pokemon cards, you know, you get a lot of the same poses and stuff. This is a very nice artwork in the sense that, especially with that Bulbasaur card, you get other Pokemon featuring it. I always like that. Um, but, I mean, th this is an absolutely lovely card. I'm not sure if these are actually viable to play in competitive play. Uh, I believe they're only promos. Um, I just made me wonder seeing that move there. But, you know, uh, I mean, absolutely gorgeous cards. I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to hardback these because um, they're, they're, they're just they're wonderful artworks. I'm really, really kind of grateful I got them. Now, we're going to go to Scarlet and Violet Pack base set. Let's see what we get. There's still a couple cards I'm missing from this. Um, I've been I've been fairly lucky with Scarlet and Violet in the sense that I've been getting more kind of uh, full art cards uh, rather than the basic kind of EX cards, um, which I never really have. But um, yeah, basic energy. We got Mareep. We got Silicobra. I don't think I've got that one. We got Bishop, Riolu, Espafra. Definitely seen too many of them. Arvin. Cacturn, Magneton, Floet, and oh, it's a V. Magnezone EX. Very nice. And it's not a V, it's an EX. That is a very nice card. Great detail in that. Really nice. Magnezone, I don't believe has had a card in a couple couple sets. I believe its last one was Lost Origin. Um, that is gorgeous, though. Once again with the stars, though. Like... You know what I mean? It's a, a bit too much. But very nice card all the same. That's one pull. We're going to go for a Paldea Evolve now. With the dirty little Firecroc on the front. I love him. I mean, he's, he's chill. Fue Coco is a lovely little Pokemon. And then he becomes a Mexican. Um, and then he becomes a Crocodile. Uh, I don't know why they gave the second evolution a Sombrero. I really, I really don't know what the design choice was behind that. Uh, we got Fire Energy. Tossed out of the back wall. We got Rockruff. Poor me, what is he looking for? Is that like a little adventure or something like that? Um, I do apologize, by the way, if you can hear like banging and crashing in the background. My neighbor is getting an extension for like the fifth time this year. Uh, Pupitar, Faulkner. I mean, literally, my, my neighbor never stops making noise. It's like a constant cycle of drilling, bashing, soaring. Sometimes I like to throw rocks at him. Over the uh, over the fence and see if see if one lands. We got a Mankey. Oh, we got a, we got an art card. The Dunsparce. Now that is that is lovely artwork. That is. Um, I mean, honestly, that's kind of him. He drills into the ground, stealing absolutely everything from from the soil. Shakes the house. I mean, it actually does my head in. Um, what's our last card going to be? A Wigglytuff. I haven't got that one either. Two very nice cards. I'm going to put them to the side. Um, yeah, he just makes so much friggin' noise. So if he could keep it down for the last couple minutes of this video, I'd be greatly appreciative of him. Now, the last card is my favourite. Um, I think this is exceptional. The washing machine is going off now as well. Just to, just to heighten the fun of this video. But it's Greninja. And this is my favourite card. Not only because I love Greninja, but... The background, which I hadn't noticed when I originally saw the promos, but you can just make out a little froakie in the background and two frogadiers running alongside. I, I just think it's, I, I think it's amazing artwork. Um, quite dark um, in lighting. Uh, the only real color that stands out to me right now is is the the, the red pupil of Greninja. But I, I, it's just beautiful. I, I have nothing bad to say about these cards at all. They are they are very well deserved uh, to be the winners, and I understand why they they got selected. I mean, they're just gorgeous cards to look at. Um, we have one last pack now. I must uh, I must say, my luck with Pokemon Center orders have been notoriously bad. If you've seen my last two videos. Um, and I'm actually quite surprised because we, we we've got some we've got some good pulls today. Uh, we got our last Paldea Evolve pack. A set I haven't really opened much of to be honest. Um, I moved on quite quickly to Obsidian Flames. Uh, we got Sea Toddle running around in the snow like a little happy boy. We got Shrewdle. Oh, it's just it just looks like an old man. Uh, we got Jigglypuff. We got Phalanx following each other. Azumarill. We have got Paldeon Taurus. Paldean. If I could pronounce that right, kick in the mud. 
We got Skip Loom looking happy as ever. We got Glimit. We got Pormot. And our last card is a Bomber Snow, which we, we definitely haven't got either. So you know what? I'm pretty happy with those pulls. I'm 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 grateful. Uh, I, I've been lucky. I've been a little lucky boy today. But let's quickly recap what we did managed to get today we got uh, we got we got some good cards we got wiggly tough skipping around having a jolly good time we got magnazone uh yeah we've already spoken about you we got annihilate i mean he's bait that's just i mean he's just bardock from dragon ball that's all he is he's just he's just got super saiyan air it's kind of you know uh we got the dun sparse that is definitely my favorite of the day Absolutely gorgeous artwork. Then we obviously got the illustration promos. We'll have a little look at them one last time. A little arcane on yawning and Bulbasaur. I mean, doesn't he just? Isn't he just gorgeous? He's smiling away. Anyway, that is it for the video, boys. Um, I don't know what my next video is going to be. Um, we'll see. We'll see. We'll get some gameplay going. Maybe a little FNAF gameplay. But I will see you all then. Peace.